or so a rebuild. Okay. Pretty, practically what you're saying, the other ones, you throw the old shit out and put new shit in. Yeah. Because it's not off road, that's the bottom line. Yeah. So, yeah. So, your objective was to have a caravan that. Um, Could go off grid. Off grid. Bottom line. Yep. Yeah. Yep. As it says, off road. <laughs> and I yeah. wasn't capable of going off road to what I wanted. So, yeah. so physically capable, but not um, in terms of providing the power that That's you needed. Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what do we got? Um, okay, so here we are with the little 15 foot legend off road van with the upgrade that we've done to it. Um, 400 amp hour lithium system and a drive lithium system with a full Symarine monitoring package. Um, Daryl came to us with a request of upgrading his AGM system to make it more usable off-grid, including an inverter, um, so it can run basically coffee machine, uh, air conditioner, and everything he needs to be able to run whilst parked up on the beach. Yep. So we've got everything here in the tunnel boot except for the inverter, which is in behind the kitchen area, which we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, but it's all compressed down into probably just under a third or just over a third of this side of the tunnel boot, because um, Daryl wants to fit a pantry to the other side of the tunnel boot. So he needed space for that to be able to go. Awesome. So we've consolidated everything here. Simarine system, we're doing tank monitoring. Uh, we're doing um, inclinometer as well so when he's setting up he can have a look at the levels uh, rather than getting a spirit level out so has a look through the app mm -hmm. um, DC DC charger AC charger uh, the van had uh, 320 watts of solar on the roof and we've added another 300 in the small amount of space that he has so 620 watts of solar on the roof um, and a 2000 watt inverter awesome so what do you need to show Daryl in there in terms of him understanding how things work and if he has any issues on the on the road, like anything that he, you need to show him inside there um, that you'd normally do in a handover? Uh, just basic functionality really. So there's, there's obviously um, our normal fusing that we put in. So AC charger, DC charger, uh, main loads and fridge. Yep. So Daryl's got a small compressor fridge inside the van as well. Um, and also I've added in a um, solar isolator. So for maintenance purposes, um, it's good to be able to isolate off the solar panels. Um, so that's all here. Um, everything else realistically shouldn't need to be touched. So they're the maintenance, they're the maintenance items that are there that we've added in. Oh, we the van had some automatic resetting circuit breakers originally. So I've deleted those um, and just put some MIDI fuses in place on the wall there. Any questions for yourself, Daryl, with all that? Or? Is there an isolator in here? No. Apart from the solar one? No. no. And those 240 plugs are working? That there is fed from the inverter. Yep. Your battery charger is fed from the inside power point next to the bat next to the inverter which is fed from the mains so it will only battery charger will only come on uh, when you plug your mains in yep yep everything else is fed from the inverter from the inverter that one power point underneath the kitchen area there is the yep. only one that's before the inverter yep. so i can plug that into the 240 and just leave it sitting and i'll recycle itself through the batteries and do whatever it wants to do no yes. Ideally, you don't leave um, it plugged in 100% of the time, though. No. If it's parked up, lithium batteries don't like sitting in float charge. It's yep. better to let them charge and discharge yep. um, from the sun. Right. So ideally, you would buy, not put the cover on it all the time, leave the cover off and let the solar do the stuff. Or some people will just basically modify the cover and get a little clear panel put in. Oh, yeah. And that way you've got some sun yep. coming through, which is enough to... But it'll work out between the two, which one to use. Yep. Yeah. Smart system. Excellent. No worries. Cool. All right, we'll go inside. I'll just leave that down. We'll go inside and have a look at the summary package. Uh, 
Um, so just quickly, this is the PowerPoint that I was referring to. Yep. So this one here is um, pre-inverter. Yep. Okay, so that one comes directly from the mains, and obviously down here as well, you've got um, your main um, fuse for your inverter. Yep. Um, and everything else is basically just your inverter. That's it. Okay. That's all that's down there. No worries. So that one there is the only one on mains. Correct. The rest are right through the inverter. Correct. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Um, so obviously we have our little control panel here. Yep. Which is for the which is for the Cymarine and the inverter. Yep. Come up well too. Yeah. It does look pretty good. Um, so just scrolling through the Cymarine system, um, you get uh, obviously first page is your main battery, yep. state of charge. Um, this reading here is what's coming in and going out. So blue is charging, okay. yellow is discharging. Yep. And then obviously if you've got heaps of current like from your air conditioner or yep. a, a big load on 240, then it'll go red. red. Um, so what I've done here is bring in, as I said before, your van loads. Yep. Um, so that's just all your lights and pump, um, USB outlets, yep. that sort of thing. Your fridge is on its own circuit, so you can have a look at when your fridge is cycling on and off. Yep. It's nice to have. Um, that's just your battery, what's happening with your main battery. So that's just mimicking what's on the other page that we were just okay. looking at. Yep. And then you've got your two chargers, your AC charger and your DC-DC, which is also your solar. Yep, no worries. Now, obviously, the battery's sitting at 100%, yep. so there's no charge or two amps coming in. Yep. Um, that's basically running the inverter because the inverter's on. Yep, So Sweet. Two amps, resting, doing nothing. So yep. ideally, obviously, if you're not using your inverter, just switch it off. Yep. It saves a bit of power. Yep. You can see that jumped up so that'll now drop back down again and it'll be all sweet so then we roll through you've got your three tanks yep. fresh front fresh rear gray on the back is gray connected gray is connected sweet. yep cabinet temperature so that temperature gauge is actually down there in the tunnel Goodbye. excellent it will give you ambient but obviously if you've got those charges pumping then that'll be producing yeah. a bit of heat. So, so on a hot day, leave the door open? Nah, no. Nah, there's heaps of air movement through right. there, so you don't, don't need to worry about that. Um, Inclinometer, pitch and roll. Oh yeah, geez, are pretty little. <laughs> well, that's because I've calibrated it to this, so I haven't actually checked that. Right. I'll show you how to calibrate it when you're actually sitting okay. there. Um, and then you also, as standard, just get a barograph, which is neither here nor there, it just gives you barometric pressure. Yep. And that, mate, is uh, the extent of it. Excellent. Everything's obviously run through your cupboards. Yep. Um, oh, neat. Looks very neat, actually. Up through the, the top um, there. Yeah, good. The, that's still operational? Yes. Yes, and the heater, obviously, for the gas. Yes. Um, yeah, so this will, if you want to run your hot water system on electric, yep. you can, through the inverter. Yep. Excellent. They're very thirsty. Yeah, a thousand watt. Anything element. with a heating element is, isn't yep. it? Yeah, a thousand watt element yep. in that, so yep. it does take up a bit of juice, but so more than capable of doing it. Did um, you do a test on this to how long it, how it's going? Uh, we can turn it on now if you want. It's um super easy. Wait for it to fire up. There we go. We're on. So it's way hotter than twenty three degrees, so this will actually kick up. And it'll be quite interesting. So it's a, it's quite a cloudy day today. Yeah. So it'll be yeah. good to see how much charge we get out of that 620 watts yep. on the roof. Um, just while we're waiting for this thing to kick in, oh, um, RCD, yep. I'll replace the switchboard as well. Yep. Replace switchboard RCD. Um, so we've still got our main RCD there. Yep. And your AC, which is the yep. two original ones. Yep. Um, yeah, like I say, they're in a bit of a... Sort of sad state. No worries. When I... Well, that's safety, so I'm glad you did that anyway. Yeah. Sweet as. Yes, yeah, so this thing will probably kick in in a second.
but yeah, it um, it's an Ibis 4, so there's some really nice functionality with the Ibis 4, particularly when you're running on inverter on yep. batteries. Um, there's a night mode in this, so you can actually get this air conditioner to you get your caravan to temperature, and then click night mode, and it actually um, just basically drops the compressor um, speed down and, and okay. just goes into like a, um, a lower cycle. Yep. And the idea of it is that it's a, maintain, a maintenance. Maintains temperature. Yeah. 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 Yep. And it actually really works. Yep. It's really good. Good one. I haven't even used it yet, so I'll have to sit in and read the book and get used to it. <laughs> so as you can see, we're sucking 46 amps out of the battery at the moment. Yep. Um, and we're only putting in seven, but you know, like I say, it's a pretty yeah, cloudy. cloudy day yeah. out there, so. No, um, good indicator. Yeah, that'll, that'll continue to go up. So on here as well, on the um, inverter control, you can actually do a power consumption. So if you click the, um, the select button yep. um, on that main page, this one rolls through to power, yep. um, so 0.65 kilowatts, so 650 watts yep. is what that thing's running yeah, at, yeah, at the yeah. moment. Yep. Um, you know, sucking 50 amps out of the battery. Yep. So again, that's a deficit. Um, so obviously, we haven't got the fridge going at the moment. The fridge isn't going. Um, can quickly turn that on. That's now. the only one we've got going on is there's a fridge. So to put a kettle on or a microwave, would drag it again. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, obviously, um, it's only a 2,000 watt inverter, so you know you've yeah. got 670 watts coming out of that. You put a thousand watt um, kettle on, yeah, and yeah, you've yeah. only sort of got about well. 400 watts yeah. of, of capacity left. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see now, we turn the fridge on. We've got 3.8 amps being oh, drawn really by yeah. the fridge. Sweet. So what if they put on too much? Too many appliances and it does trip. What would Daryl need to do? Um, just switch the inverter off and switch it back on again. Um, resets itself. Resets itself. Yeah. So there's nothing more you need to do. Oh, actually, one thing I do need to tell you is the inverter actually has its own RCD and built into it. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So that oh, sweet. that's like all your inverter sockets yep. are protected. Protected by that down there. So if it does trip. Just click the button back there. Yeah, or that reset way. It there. Well, it depends where it's tripped. If it's an earth leakage fault or an overcurrent fault down yeah. there, if it's an overload yeah. up there. Okay. So if you've put too many appliances on, yeah. but there's no safety tripping going yeah. on, it's just an overload for the inverter. Yeah. Sweet. That's where it'll go. Yeah, that's pretty much it, mate. No worries. It's getting cold. Beautiful. It's pretty good, isn't it? So she wants. Yes. So now you can go on a holiday and be cool and not be sweltering. Exactly, yeah. Well, it's only for bedtime, so it's, once you get to sleep, you're pretty right. But it's just getting to sleep is, is the drama of all Yeah. And uh, we've, we've, we told you to stand there, the windows open. It was long to go. Bloody good. Yeah. Especially with that thing open. Yeah, that's a good drags end, in, actually, isn't it? Drags yeah. in a lot of air, yeah. Yeah. So, and no, that's great. No, very happy one. Very yeah. happy. Thank you. No both worries. Years. Easy.